Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to share what I've been drinking each day to help me recover from iron deficiency anemia. By no means am I a doctor, but I do believe that this along with altering my diet has helped me out a lot. Now I must warn you that this drink combination doesn't necessarily taste amazing. Like my husband Ty has said in the past, sometimes you have to have taste bud transformations and that definitely was the case for me many times when experimenting with the shake. But I personally am not drinking this for taste alone, I'm drinking it for its health benefits. So with that being said, let's rock. So first I like to add anywhere from 40 to 50 grams of spinach or a spinach kale mix to a Nutri Ninja cup. I do prefer to use organic spinach, but sometimes I just buy regular, depending on what's available. Spinach is one of those veggies that don't overpower a drink with that green taste that a lot of people don't like. So in addition to making adult smoothies, it's also great to use for kids smoothies too. For additional green benefits, I like to add about 51 grams of zucchini. This is another almost tasteless veggie that works great to sneak in those smoothies. Now on the other hand, celery definitely does have a powerful taste, but it's also a great source of nutrients. So I do like to add a few stalks. Today it was 38 grams. Now blackstrap molasses is definitely, definitely a powerhouse in this drink. It is packed with iron and potassium. However, it took me a very, very long time to try it out because it is very thick and kind of gross tasting, in my opinion. <laughs> It took a little time to find out what combination hid the taste, but once I did, it was smooth sailing. So at the moment, I like to use 21 grams. So at the moment, I still seem to have some trouble when it comes to eating too much dairy, but I'm currently using whey protein to help me reach my daily protein goal. I tend to bounce around with the amount I use since I'm still trying to figure out what works best for me, but the range is usually between 21 and 31 grams. Today, I use 21. Flax seeds are awesome for omega-3s, fiber, and lignans, so I like to add 14 grams to my daily shake. Sometimes I use whole flax seeds instead of ground and neither alter the taste of the drink. Both work really well. Also for fiber, I love using chia seeds. I currently like to use about 15 grams. I first started out using the ground ones, but they do add a very bitter taste to my drink. So as of late, I've been going for the whole ones instead. I will say though that I think the ground chia seeds work a bit better for keeping my system regular. <laughs> Don't be laughing y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so here are the spices that I currently add to my daily shake. Again, using all of these ingredients together isn't gonna give you a Gordon Ramsay delectable drink or anything, but I like to use them for their great health benefits. Also using fresh spices and not ground ingredients will probably work awesome too, but here's what I'm working with. Since I'm currently not taking MSM for my joints and skin, I'm adding a half a teaspoon of turmeric to my daily shake instead. So I used to take fenugreek years ago for breast firming benefits after having children, and I had no idea that it was amazing for iron. So now I'm adding it back in. I'm currently adding a half a teaspoon to my shakes. And here's a little fun fact about fenugreek. If you take enough of it, it'll totally make your sweat smell like maple syrup instead of B.O. Okay. <laughs> a half a teaspoon of cinnamon is also something I like to add around that time of the month because it helps control excessive menstrual bleeding. I also like adding cinnamon and cinnamon sticks to my tea during that time too. Ginger is also fantastic for so many belly and joint issues. So I currently like to add a half a teaspoon to my shake. To help chill things off and add a little more potassium to my drink, I like to add a bit of frozen fruit to the mix. Here, I like to switch things up pretty often for a bit of variety. Today's choice happened to be mango chunks, and I used about 140 to 145 grams. Now for the liquids. Since January, I've played around with so many different juices and even water to find something that works well with all of these ingredients. Right now, I happen to be digging orange juices mixed with a bit of mango, pineapple, or other fruits. And usually I add about 12 ounces, more or less, which is enough to make two shakes. I also sometimes add a little water to help loosen things up. And in the near future, I'm gonna be trying out a little apple cider vinegar too. Now it's time to blend everything together. And the Nutri Ninja does a fantastic job with this step. Mm -hmm. 
After everything is well blended, I divide the juice into two portions. I drink one right away and save the other for later. And that's it y'all, that's what my smoothie is looking like at the moment. Again, this is not the tastiest thing in the world, but over time I've actually grown to like the taste. Taste bud transformations are definitely real y'all. <laughs> Once again, this smoothie isn't a cure-all or anything, but I do think that it's helped my body tremendously over the past four months. Nothing in this shake is really set in stone, and I'll definitely continue experimenting with different ingredients and flavors, adding and removing things and changing things up as I see fit or desire. But as always, I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the little bell for future updates. All right, till next time, take care. Be sure to check out my channel homepage for lots more to watch. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Have a great day.